Hello, thank you for joining me today. We're going to be looking at our latest um, addition to the panoramic range, which is the panoramic multi-fuel stove. Um, so I guess the first thing to say is if you're looking for a wood burning only unit, you're probably best off with just a standard panoramic stove, which we've already done a video for. So I'll put a little link um, at the bottom of this video so you can just follow that one, which we go through the whole workings of that stove. Um, so it'll probably be a little bit more relevant to you if you are sort of just predominantly burning wood. Um, this one here, which is the multi-fuel stove, is for people burning wood and smokeless coal, or just smokeless coal on its own. Um, so the key differences between the two stoves is the panoramic wood version will just have fire bricks in the side and then a base fire brick as well. And the glass scoops down lower because wood likes to burn with lots of air flowing over it, but with very limited air underneath. Whereas when you're burning smokeless coal, it enjoys lots of air rushing up from underneath, as well as um, not quite so much air from the top. So on this stove here, you'll see the doors changed ever so slightly and it's got this air control on the front here. That's the primary air, which when you open and close it, is regulating the air flowing from underneath the stove, going onto the new, the new added grate inside the fire here. And you've still got the control on the base, right at the bottom there, which is again turning left to right, which is controlling the air flowing over the top of the fire. Now it is universal, so you can burn both wood and smokeless coal, but if you're burning just wood on its own, this grate is removable, so you can remove the grate the ash pan and all the little bits and pieces keeping in place relatively easily. I lift it out and then put the base brick inside which comes included. Um, if you are predominantly just burning smokeless coal, um, you can leave this in here. So the stove itself, so we'll go back to the secondary airflow, which is flowing air through a separate chamber in the, in the stove itself. So in the stove at the back, there's a separate layer of steel and at the top as well. So the air is being drawn through the rear is drawing up the back of the stove and it's being expelled through these series of holes on the baffle plate. You see the change in flames, that's where the air is rushing through and the actually reburning the initial smoke produced by the fire high up in the chamber. It what makes the efficiency very high, uh, the low CO outputs, the low NOx outputs, which means this stove is suitable for uh, the new eco design regulations coming in in 2022. It actually exceeds it in all parameters as well, which is great. Um, and then the air continues to flow over the top and then is dispersed onto the glass front. So you see the glass is nice and clean. So the air is being sped up and then they're rushing down onto this glass, helping to keep it clean and clear of smoke stains. A little tip for when you're helping to achieve that is, it's very good, but you want to make sure you're burning nice and dry wood. If you are burning wet wood, no matter how good the air wash is, eventually this glass will go, will go black, but obviously to get the most out of the stove, you really want to ensure that you're burning nice dry wood like we are here. Clean glass is always a, a good indication that you're burning nice dry wood and the clean's burn, and the stove, sorry, is burning efficiently. So next we're going to look at the primary air. The one on the door here is a primary airflow. This is a predominant lever you want to be using when you're burning smokeless coal because the smokeless coal likes lots of air rushing up underneath. So this is currently open, so lots of air will be rushing under the smokeless coal if you're burning in it and then you'll gradually close it off to close it down. You can use a little bit of the base lever when you're burning the smokeless coal, just to, especially if you're getting it going, because smokeless coal can be a little bit harder to get going. You can have a little bit of extra air into the chamber, but you really then want to close that off and then predominantly just burn it with the primary airflow. So finally, we're going to go through a summary of just some of the key features of the stove. I don't want to go into too much detail onto each piece, um, so I'll give a quick run through of them. So it's a five inch top and rear flue outlet. It being DEFRA approved means you can fit a five inch liner, which is very important for numerous installations as six inch liners can sometimes be a little tricky to get down the chimney. Um, it's got the adjustable legs on the bottom. So if you've got a little bit of an uneven half, you can just adjust the feet, which is very useful. Um, direct air feed at the rear, 100 mil outlet. Uh, now, because of this one's got the air coming in from the front as well, it can't be for a room sealed it's not technically a room sealed stove. So that needs to be kept in mind if you are looking for, um, so if it's in a new build property, and it's a room sealed stove, you wanna make sure you go for the wood version only because that one is all coming in through that direct air feed. So it's got the full fire brick lining at the sides and then the steel baffle plate, which is bolted in place at the back. So it's a slim line, slim line version, which means it's not too deep 
uh, but it's nice and wide, so you get the nice large glass version too, which is very good. Um, we also have now listed on the site the um, an, an initial log retaining bar, which raises up the log bar. So if you want to make sure it's extra tall so the logs aren't falling out, if you are stacking a little higher, you can have that as well. Um, handle options. So we've got a whole selection of new handles, which we'll show and just run through now, which give it a little bit of a different look. So we've got sort of a black one, a brass one, and sort of more of a brushed steel one. Um, and those will actually be available for the panoramic range, the pure fire range, um, and the auto range too. So they fit a, a wide selection at the stage, which is quite good to, um, to customize and make it look a little bit unique. Um, this is going to be available also in a custom grey version, which is very popular with the Hampton and the current panoramics. Um, and that's about it. I could probably go on all day, but um, I think we'll leave it there. And if you do have any questions, we'll be, we'll be happy to help. Thank you.